Hey everyone, this is Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com and welcome to New Comics and Booze for May 7th, 2014. So, Free Comic Book Day has come and gone. Uh, how was your Free Comic Book Day? Did you attend an event at your local comic book store? Was it busy? Did you get everything you want? Big sales? Uh, if you haven't checked out my Free Comic Book Day video yet, please do. The link is right at the bottom there. And if this video is now a few weeks old, that link is probably gone. Uh, but yeah, do please check it out. Um, Today's uh, booze is Ginja Ninja. Uh, pretty cool looking label. This is a seasonal beer from uh, Granville. Uh, I've had a couple of their beers before. They're based in uh, Vancouver, BC. I think it's Vancouver. It's British Columbia anyway. Yeah, Vancouver. Uh, it is a beer with ginger, so I guess it is not ginger beer. I've had ginger beer before, which is okay. Not a big fan. Um, it says on the back here, Legend Speaks of... A ninja rising from the shores of the west coast, the ninja was said to be bold and versatile with a sneaky kick. Ingredients, beer, ginger, contains barley and wheat. And that's about it. And my eye is a little less red. Not bad. So, let's get this into a glass. If I can... Here, here we go. Pop this off. Here's my steam whistle glass, which has not gotten a lot of love recently. So, this doesn't look like it has much of a head at all. Not very much at all. So, the color... Well, kind of an amber kind of color, but dark. Well, let's see. Sort of citrusy or floral. Hmm. It's definitely nothing like ginger beer. Um, <clears throat> the ginger is, uh, it's there, but it's not overpowering at all. Like, it still tastes like, like a beer, like a, uh, I want to say pale ale. I mean, it's not an IP. It's not like really, really hoppy, um, but, um, um, I'd say it's definitely more hoppy than malty, though. Uh, it does have a bit of a bite, probably thanks to the ginger, too. Um, I'm not an expert at picking out tastes and flavors and such, but um, you can definitely taste the ginger, uh, but really not overpowering at all. Um, but if you like, so if you like uh, like some bite in your beer, like 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 IPAs, it's not as strong as an IPA, the the, the hoppiness. Um, uh, but it does have an, a nice little hoppy bite in it, uh, so it's uh, quite nice. Hmm. Definitely would uh, recommend you check that out. So, uh, these are the comics that I got from uh, Silver Snail. I actually went to the comic book shop as well afterwards because um, I sent in my email list uh, a little too late. Um, so I ended up actually, my t totally my fault, uh, I just completely forgot about it. I'm supposed to send it in uh, no later than... Tuesday 6 a.m. and I forgot all about it until late afternoon so I ended up missing out on two titles um, I'll show you what those are excuse me uh, in a bit I ended up getting them at the comic book shop afterwards um, first up is excuse me the amazing spider-man who am I 1.1 1 .1. um, I have not gotten around to reviewing um, what? This is not 1.1. Oh, this is some free thing. I didn't even notice Kin putting this in my bag. Okay, I don't even know what this is. Uh, who am I? It's free. With a digital edition in it. So, I guess this is some sort of origin thing. Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Yes, uh, some some free retelling of his uh, origin. Okay, well, there you go. Have a look. I'm guessing everybody else got this too. Uh, there's another page right there. Well, I guess I'll check it out. And original sin card. Original sin number one. 
Uh, I actually haven't gotten around to reading the Zero issue yet, uh, so I definitely got to get on that. Four ninety nine, another really thick, big issue. Hmm. Oh, nice. A Dr. Pepper ad with uh, Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, Ant-Man. There we go. Uh, Deadpool vs. Carnage, issue 3 of 4. I've been really enjoying this. A lot of fun, really crazy, very funny. Funny, violent. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. There we go. Archer and Armstrong, issue 20. Uh, still going strong. Uh, this is still, right now, this and Harbinger are the only um, uh, Valiant titles I am currently um, subscribing to. Um, yeah, I was, yeah I, I was getting uh, Shadow Man and... I can't remember what else I was getting now. I was getting one, one another one too for a while. Well, Quantum and Woody until the artist changed. Uh, Black Dynamite. Uh, I love this movie. Um, the comic is cool too. Um, this is issue two. I think it's been uh, since January, the first issue. It's been a while. Uh, but uh, I really like the uh, artwork in this. It's very cool. It has a bit of a re retro kind of uh, flavor to it tinge as you can see from the cover as well and uh, we got uh, the old uh, comics code seal here but it's a little different it says uh, approved by the comics soul authority uh, pretty neat uh, max issue seven max versus pit do we all remember pit from the 90s uh, no. here we go if you're not familiar with this series, uh, definitely check it out, uh, as well as uh, I've been meaning to try and uh, dig up the uh, old MTV animated series too, because that's how I was introduced to the Max originally back in the 90s, a really great show. It's just, it's exactly like the comic, exactly. Uh, really cool stuff, and this is a sub cover as well. And here we go, The Amazing Spider-Man, Learning to Crawl 1.1. Uh, this is the, the real um, next issue. Um, so yeah, I thought the... I haven't reviewed the first one uh, yet, but I have read it. Um, I don't know exactly what 1.1 is. Anyway, for the most part I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was... had, you know, at least one or two too many stories in it. Didn't need to be that long. Didn't have need to have that many stories in it. Um, artwork in this is uh, interesting. It's not uh, by any of the usual guys, like uh, uh, Ramos or uh, I'm forgetting the other guy's name. Anyways, uh, The Wake, issue 8? 8 of 10. Almost uh, to the end. I'm two... I'm at least two issues behind on this. I have to double check on that. Um, but uh, uh, this has been a really great series so far. Fantastic artwork, really great writing. If you like your undersea adventures with monsters and such. And uh, flashes from the future. Uh, Green Lantern 31 Uprising. Um, I've been, I, I dropped Green Lantern a while ago and then I got one issue. Well, I had to get it because I wanted to get Red Lanterns too. It was that double-sided one. I think it was number 28. Um, this is a new uh, crossover, uh, part one of six, so uh, I'm guessing one of the parts at least is going to go into Red Lantern, so I feel like, you know, maybe I, should, maybe I should pick this up just to make sure I understand everything that's going on. Like part two takes place in uh, Green Lantern Corps 31 next week, so it's, it's going across all the Lantern books, so... If I want to know what's going on in Red Lanterns, which is the only Lantern book I'm currently getting, uh, I guess I kind of have to get that. Hopefully it's good. I really hope it's good, because I dropped Green Lantern a little while ago, because uh, I was just getting disappointed and bored with it, uh, unfortunately. 
So anyways, uh, because I was late sending my email with uh, my requests, uh, I ended up missing out on two, two comics. So I went uh, a few blocks down the street uh, to the comic book shop and they had the two issues I was missing. Uh, the first one is Nailbiter uh, from Image. Uh, this sounded pretty cool. Uh, it has to do with uh, was it six or sixteen serial killers uh, in this one town and uh, there's a what is it FBI agent uh, who goes missing and then there's a NSA uh, agent who uh, tries to track it's, he's his friend and he tries to track him down and he needs uh, the help of this uh, serial killer pretty cool artwork so it sounds pretty dark uh, interesting uh, kind of mystery um, I think that's primarily what it kind of is, is a mystery um, involving serial killers and uh, why there are so many serial killers coming from this one town. Um, looks pretty cool, yeah, and uh, quite the nail-biting cover, yes. Um, right, when I went, when I went to the uh, uh, free comic book day events, Somehow, I completely missed Future's End. I'm sure both stars had it. Somehow, I just walked right past it. I didn't even notice it. I even forgot all about it. I'm gonna, I knew this was going to be there. Totally forgot about it. Didn't see it. Uh, but I went to the comic book shop today. Uh, they actually had a few of these left, um, which I'm very thankful for. I'm really glad they had some of these left um, so that uh, I could uh, check it out because it is one of the free comic book day books that I wanted to get. Um, so, yay. And the other issue that I had to pick up there, uh, that was a surprise, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Futures End number one, uh, which got sold out at the snail. Uh, we will see how good this uh, new event is. I guess this is um, DC's uh, big summer event, just like Marvel now has Original Sin. Uh, Grifter is in here. Uh, I enjoyed the first few issues of Grifter when the New 52 uh, happened. Um, I thought it was really good for a few issues and then it started going down and I dropped it and then it got cancelled. Um, so this is, uh, I'm actually glad to uh, be revisiting uh, this character in here. So, cool. Oh, and there's a Midnight Madness sale on Saturday, May 10th, 9 to 12. 50% off. Spiffy. I don't know if I'll go or not. We'll see. Uh, that's uh, I'll be at the Ottawa Comic Con on that day. Uh, Ottawa Comic Con is May 9, 10, and 11. I will be going for all three days on the Deluxe Pass. My wife will join me on the Saturday only. Check out Bruce Campbell. Cannot wait to see Bruce Campbell. It's going to be so awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll have a bunch of uh, videos and pictures and uh, write-ups. I'll do all three days like I did last year on the darkstormreviews.com website. Uh, last year I just took pictures and did write-ups of each day. Day one, day two, day three. Uh, this year I will have that as well as uh, uh, some video. I'll shoot some video this time as well. And oh, before I forget again, uh, ever since I made my Captain America video, uh, I wanted to show off the collector cup that I got at the theater. I forgot for that video and every video I've made since then I keep forgetting about it. So I'm going to show it off now. Here's my collector's cup for Captain America Winter Soldier. Got him on the top there. And there you go. Very cool, right? Right. Okay, so that's it. I'm Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com. Thanks for watching and see ya.